Oh, yeah. Hi, everybody. Where'd the other one screen go? Boom, there it is. There it is. I'm going to sew this bag while What am you're... I trying to do over here? There, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to type over there. All right. Hi, Chelsea. Chelsea's already here. Yes, Chelsea. Yes. Oh, man. Jeremy's jumping around up there already. I can hear him. Get some work done right. on Friday. And the light in here is great. I'm just telling you. It's about it. so good. So good. Yep. Should have worn the ring light today. <laughs> and it didn't. Hey, can you give me a needle? Where would that be? No, no, no. Some kit. Not that. There was like a little some kit there. Mm. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't. Oh, this thing. <laughs> Is there a needle? There's not a needle though. Uh, There's a needle threader. Wait, I might have something here. No, no, it's cool. Sorry. Negative help. Sorry. God. Why does this keep it? Why is this happening? What's happening? It's just one of our. Something's running slow. Or it was. Lame. Happy Friday. I know, right? Hey, Tammy. Thank you. I got all the <coughs> Madewell tops. They're like all of them, but kind of different, you know? Got them at a thrift. And they were all extra, extra small. I was super stoked. And they were $3. So I bought all of them. Just like a flowered one. They're they're all basically the same shirt. That was I liked it. I'm sewing a purse right now. So I got this purse. You'll see it on the video because we just posted it. This Sorry. is giving us issues. So I'm gonna take this thing out of here. What is it? It's the iPad. Great. Is it on the right end? Should be. Hey Megan. So we went to the bins yesterday, and we went to the Austin bins and the Waco bins. So we did a haul today. The video just went up because of who we are as people. <laughs> yeah. And anyway, I found this purse. This was just sitting in. So in our bins, there's a hard goods section, and this purse was sitting in the hard goods section. And it was just really heavy doesn't look high quality but it felt high quality if you know what I mean I think it's worth like almost a hundred dollars so I'm pretty stoked but I have to sew it I've seen better days Ooh, reorganizing your inventory that's good we need to, we need to um my hair's crazy so I did a hair with I mean I did a video with my hair with, hair. <laughs> a, hair with a hair with me video I did because we don't have our ring light, remember it broke, and so we had it film in the daylight. That was a that was a thing. That was a thing. My hair was a roll wet. All right. But yes, we need to do an inventory as well because some of our stuff is out of order and it's getting yeah it's getting to be unmanageable. Yep, yeah. almost. <laughs> almost unmanageable. This man, he says almost. Okay, I think I may have fixed the issue. What was the, the issue? computer, anyway. What's the issue? I think the computer had way too many tabs open, so I shut one of the Chrome windows all the way the down. The computer or the, I the computer. iPad? Because this was showing slower connection. This was showing zero connection. Oh, no. So you're back in the green. You're back in the green. green. I like it. So I'm just sewing this purse that I got at the bins, you know, as you do. Um, as you chat, <clears throat> what am I getting ready to take photos of? So, so I have that bin of plush, I believe yes. you could start oh, that's with. Right. Um, I listed a bunch of things today, and so what we did was we did a bins haul. 
and then Dan needed, well, I really wanted to put comps in the hall. I really have a an issue when people do hauls and suggest prices and don't have comps. So I just, like, made skeleton drafts very quickly. I got through almost 40 things, I think. Did you really? Yeah. Wow. I mean, well, I have, like, real drafts for, like, 20 of them. Okay. And I have skeleton drafts for 20 more things. And I would have more, but we had to step in a heater, and that takes four hours. So we were running a little behind. Again, who we are as people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Amanda. How are you doing? I'm sewing. I'm sewing this strap. We did the worst thing you can do as YouTubers, and that's fine. One day we'll get better. We posted a video eight minutes before our live, which is really bad form. Probably really bad form, though. That's what I just said. Yeah. It's really bad form. <laughs> Especially when you're trying to do that, you know, stuff that's good for your metrics. Whoops. Fine. We really need a ring light. The light in here is just horrific. So anyway, we're going to list some plush first. We found some really amazing plush. We're finally getting to the point where our instincts are kicking into high gear and we're not having to comp every single plush. Some of the plush we got today without comping on both of our ends uh, were worth over 100, which is pretty great. <laughs> yeah! It's not easy to find a $100. Like this bag was a $100 bag and I just found it in a picked over hard goods bin, not even the clothing bin where the purses normally are. Oh, man. We've had issues. Stash, 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 inventory. Statutory. I don't know if you want to say that on YouTube right now. I know, right? This stuff is dangerously close to the, to the power switch. Hey, Luciana. Happy Friday to you, too. We just had Pokey. You know it's Friday when we have Pokey. Well, our Pokey place closed, so we had to go to the far away Pokey place. Same Pokey place, same, uh, what do you call it, franchise or whatever. Same owners, yeah. Same owners, but they closed the the location that was right down the street from us because mm. the landlords raised the rent. What is that all about? No, oh. so now we feel like 20 minutes away. Worth it. 100% worth it. <laughs> I'm trapped. I'm selling. I'm just right here. I'm in my happy place. I've got my cape on and I'm just <laughs> sewing. <clears throat> Hey, Gretchen. Why, why hey, Jacqueline. Finally took the plunge in listing on eBay. Yes. Nice. We can help you, and everyone in the chat can help you. Not everyone does eBay, but most people do. We can help you. Just ask questions in real time. we got a support group, man. All right, this, this purse is, is fixed. Fixed? How do you like that? Purse. All right, we're going to try... I'm going to try. Look at, look at my forehead with these wrinkles, man. Oh, man. This is overhead light. I swear when I look in the mirror, these aren't that bad. But when Ooh. I get in here, it's like real bad. We can do cave cam. Yeah, okay. Unless it's going to shut down again. I don't know. Everything's in the green, so I think okay. we should be okay. We love we a cave see, cam. Can you still see the chat? Up here? Okay, I'm looking at my oh, computer. Yeah, great. Okay. What about... Have you want me to move? Positioning this up right now. Yeah, I can wait. No big deal. No big deal. And then I can go get the bin of stuff. I feel like once you've done your first couple of eBay's, they yeah, get easier. Absolutely. And then once you ship your first couple, they get easier too. It's the fear of the unknown, as we all know. Yeah. Anyway, this is the bag that's worth a hundred bucks. It's like not even that nice, you know, it's just like heavy. And that's uh -uh. when I saw it, Dan to go shopping for purses, I was like, feel the weight and feel the inside. If the inside is like rough and cheap, scratchy, scratchy, it's not a good purse. And if the purse is heavy, you should look it up. And he does, he does well with purses now. But this was really heavy and it was in a bin. It's like a beach bag, but it's worth a hundred, so that's great. I'm here for that. It has a lime green interior. Oh, and it has these like really, you know, nice magnetic buttons to it. So I knew it was something. 
It's called Eric Javits. I don't know. I don't either. But now we do. This lime green interior is a canvas. It's really nice. I was hoping there was money in it. There's oh, money. come on, money. There's never money. Okay, so the flush bin is over here. Am I going to clean those Manolos while you're cleaning? I mean, taking the pictures of the flush. Okay. Got these Manolos for three ninety nine. Score. I believe that they're real. I did all the checks. I do my own checks, and then I'm just like, okay, I'll. We're good. You know, I could stress out about it and like send them to somebody, but their shoes are worth like fifty bucks at the maximum. Manolos are not known for their flats. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, once you get, we just got a stupid return today. I don't understand on eBay, you know, it says that we have returns. You can return for any reason. And then these people return with these like really kind of mean spirited, you know, pictures and remarks. Yeah. And I'm like, you can just return it. You don't have to say anything. Yeah. <laughs> like, really, you really don't. This guy sent a picture of his measuring tape. We said it was a 32 inch waist and it was a 31.5. But his message was very, very rude. And he gave us an in ad. And I'm just like, bruh, the pants were a size 30. You were, you were squeezing anyway. I forgot to give you that. I'm sorry. Oh, I put it in there. Oh. Okay, I'll put it in. So anyway, I'm just like, why don't people just return? It says returns. I think they think it's like Poshmark. Like someone's going to read it and determine whether they can return. You know what it is? It's so he doesn't have to pay for the return shit. Oh, uh, return shipping. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a thing that's, too. That's what it is. <sighs> <laughs> like, like. <clears throat> I mean, we should just do free shipping. I mean, free, free no. returns. You get ten percent off apparently. And you get ten percent off your TV. final value fees. Yeah. yeah. Which wouldn't hurt since I'm promoting at crazy prices. Yeah. I think we have to look at the data and see if the the money that we typically do returns for. But see, we're not selling electronics really anymore. So I think the return rate should kind of balance out a little bit more. You are killing me. I'm sorry, man. You're just killing me. Oh. I am into the cleaning these shoes right now. <laughs> we gotta get, I got to get stuff done, too. Yeah. You got a bottleneck. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Can I just stack them on top of it? You can go up there, right? That's V. That's this is W. Yep. Yeah, the sell-through weight was incredible. So Lindsay said she recently sold a thrashed bag from the bins for 35 Awesome. So this was from the bins, too, and everyone was passing it by. You know, we get to the bins late. You know how we are. And, uh... <laughs> I was like, I'm going to get this. I hadn't ever heard of the brand. And then I looked at the selfie rate today and I showed Dan. I was like, this is incredible. It must have a following. I just never heard of it. And I've never heard a YouTuber talk about it. I've never heard the name before in my life. So that was a good, good bolo there. All right, I'm cleaning these Manolos, y'all. I don't know. I think they're worth like 30 bucks, which is just fine. Let's see. Let's hope the stream doesn't crash. It's flashing. Is it? So this is our last. Yeah, I will. That's weird. I'm Can you hand me that bag? This is our last night on this channel for the lives. On Monday, we're going over to the new channel. This is the label. 
it just for the lives. Yeah, just for the lives. Eric Jebitz. I'm not sure if it weren't for the weight of this bag that I would have ever known it was something. Like this bag looks like you could get it at Target, right? Like it's kind of a beach beach bag type situation, which I think he's, Eric, whoever he is, is pretty well known for. <laughs> this type of bag, casual vibe, from what I see. I'm going to trim these threads, but um, it's very heavy. It doesn't feel like something from Target. Like it's very, I actually am going to weigh it. Hold on. One pound, nine ounces. Heavy yeah, it's very heavy for like a cloth bag like that. It's not even leather and it's one pound, nine ounces. So I think you would feel it if you touch the purses. And that's my, I'm not a huge purse seller. So I don't, I don't know if I'm qualified to give advice, but the only thing I do look for is weight. And then I also feel the inside. And if the lining is cheap and scratchy, I just don't even look up the label. But if the lining is thick and nice, then I look it up. Nice. But if the bag is heavy, even despite the lining, I will still look it up. Because the weight of the bag is paramount, in my opinion. And then there are some brands that are heavy and don't have a good sell-through rate. So I'm not saying get every heavy bag out there. There's that brand. Um, what's that brand? That I sometimes have. And I had a purse of theirs. There's the B. Um, I'm thinking of it. Mark, B. Markowski? Or yeah, B. Makowski. Their bags are super heavy and they're high retail, but they don't resell for very much. I'm sure there's exceptions to everything I'm talking about. But that's just an example of a heavy bag that maybe I wouldn't pick up. don't sell a lot of purses. It's not our, it's not our shtick. Oh no, I would pick up a Brahmin. One that's been in the freezer for 25 years. I don't know what to do with it because it still smells like smoke. It's leather. It, it, like, I guess a smoker had it. I mean, it is embedded with smoke. And so I put it, I've done everything, you know, because it's leather. What can you do? It's been in the freezer for like months or something still smells all right so I was just cleaning the inside of these Manolos because I think I can probably get 50 bucks for them they're not in great condition at all Close up the whole bin. <laughs> Perfect. Great. Hey Z, how you doing? Clean the shoes. We found some great plush. <laughs> so once you guys get around to seeing our video, that was actually really good. <laughs> they didn't even do all of it. I don't comp all of it. All right, so now I gotta get the grease pencil off these leather soles. <clears throat> it's crazy. These shoes were three ninety nine, and like there were, you know, silly Nikes that weren't worth twenty bucks. Right beside them for like twelve bucks. Okay. Oh, good. So the leather on these soles is worn off to the point where I can just raise the price. Yay! <laughs> So I did go to all the websites and looked up like how to tell if your Manolos are real. These didn't have any red flags, so I'm going to sell them. And again, it'd be different if you were like trying to pass them off as new or right. charge like ridiculous money for them. 
Yeah, I don't list purses either. I don't know why. I have like such a hard time. I never want. There's this Tumi bag that we've had in our office for like 45 years. We should list it. I know. That's yeah. what I'm saying. We just don't list them. I don't know why. We can find out what it was though. Find it. I thought you emailed them. Yeah, or texted them. Weird. Okay, these Manolos have seen better days, but they're kind of cool, so I'm still going to list them. Look at these rivets. I did find a pair that were exactly like it on Poshmark that sold, I think, for 50 Maybe it was 40 I can't remember now. But for $4, I'll pass them along. Our thrift stores like that. They know like the big brands, but then like Manolo's and even Prada, we found for like nothing. It's very strange. It is really strange. They know like oh, they know Patagonia. They know Patagonia. They know Lululemon. And um, what is the other thing they started mar marking up recently? They s the one store we go to the most hasn't caught on to free people yet. Yeah. But, and they don't know Johnny Was at all, because I found a Johnny Was top there yesterday. And in menswear, they know Hugo Boss. They're oh, they, they know, know Hugo crazy. Boss. Oh, you know the thing, the guy that's returning the pants that we were talking about? They're Hugo Boss pants, and we sold them to him for, like, nothing. $12 or $15 or something, yeah. just to get them out of our house. And every time we do that, we're like, these are going to get returned. And it never fails. It's always the people that pay the least amount of money return the items. Do you guys find that to be true when you give a deal? Just oh, to like clear yeah, something? Yeah, case in point. We they can't see you. That's okay. Okay, they can hear you. Okay. We got positive feedback on the extra slim fit Ted Baker jacket. Uh huh. And the guy was like, oh, I must have looked at my measurements wrong. I'm going to have to gift this. Great transaction. A plus plus plus. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Why didn't he just return it? I don't know. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. And he paid like 85 bucks for the thing. I mean, I think it's a difference between having disposable income and not having any income. So I used to I'm sure that plays. Yep. work at Sephora and you would have these people that came in and did bulk purchases like on payday. I used to work Friday nights. This is why I think it was payday. And then inevitably, maybe the next Friday, they would come back and try to return it all. Because they either had buyer's remorse or they had did something shady to it to keep something for free. Like, you could re you can return anything at Sephora, right? So they would, like, scoop out whatever it was and then return, like, the empty thing. And say, oh, this just didn't work for me. And you're like, but it's empty, you know? <laughs> But it was always the people right. that were living paycheck to paycheck and they need the money. And so it matters to them whether they have that 11 extra dollars. And I get it as sure. a hustler myself. But the point is we have returns. Like you don't have to come at us, bro. Like just return it. It's fine. <laughs> you don't have to ruin my metrics because they didn't fit. Like, you know, I mean, I guess they might not know how eBay works. But. That'll slow our sales for a, a hot minute, I think. You know this pink and blue striped bunny? I was almost not going to get it. Why? Because. We usually don't. I usually don't pick up applause. It's usually not that good. Oh no! I oh, it's vintage. Pick it up. <laughs> it brings me such joy. So this bunny, I'll show the people I'm lighting. I mean, I guess it could be listening to these. This bunny Dan got, and we talked about it in the hall today. It's just applause. Anyway. It's just like a regular bunny. And there are three listed at 100, 125, and 150. We did not comp it. 
we're getting much better at picking out plush that are worth it. And um, and then one sold. It has. It's supposed to have a neck thing. And then one sold without the neck thing for seventy. So it's exciting. <laughs> Anything that makes you do a double take when you look at it. Yeah, and this guy, I thought this was Ren and Stimpy, but it's not. <laughs> Doesn't it look like that? Kind of. And anyway, this is worth, I think, 40 or 50. So we're into getting the plush that are really unique, and Dan's into getting the, the you know, the anime and this weird video game stuff. This is from a video game. And I'm into getting the vintage, and both of those seem to be working out financially. And then I'm filming tomorrow a junk junk bag haul. Hey uh -oh. Tracy. Hustle is okay, but don't lie and cheat, right? Right. Our Friday's going okay. We've been working straight through. Like we just posted a video right before our live, so it's not great. But I had a moral dilemma. I didn't want to post a haul without some comps. I didn't get oh, look at this guy. Hand puppers are in right now. I wish that was Hulk Manus. It's not. But I wish it was. Yeah, um, Close enough. Anyway, I didn't want to post a haul without putting some comps. Hello. Vintage Bonnie. Did I say that right? Did I ask you every time? I feel like I do. Anyway, so it took a long time to put up the video because I had to comp everything and make listings for it first. So they ended up going at the same time. That's a lot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> really bad. Oh, look at this little tr this trio of jellies. Oh, let me show them. Look at all these jelly cats. Look at these fun guys. This is the donkey. This is a bashful bunny. And this guy is a fuddle waddle. Right. He's a fuddle waddle lamb, so I want to get him up for Easter. And he has a tag. Jelly cat's still going strong. I don't know when that trend's gonna end, but it's still going. A little bit. We had Pokey at the far away Pokey. Oh yeah, Snuffleupagus. People love Snuffy. Do we have a plush Snuffy? That we sold pretty quick. Yeah, we saw all of our Snuffleupagus stuff. What's what's the name of that vintage fabric sales again? Okay. Oh, I know Martha's miniature. Okay, it is called Retro Clean. Full stop. That's the answer. I didn't get it wrong this time. It's on Amazon. I think it's 15, 18 bucks for a little bag of it. I wish it was bigger, but it's magic. So you know. It's linked below. Oh, it's linked in our video. Dan is saying. The white is yellow. Some of the yellowing came out with my initial soap, but I need to be careful. That is exactly what Retro Clean is the best at, is the vintage whites. It is like a freaking miracle. Hey, Lindsay. You can't be scared to soak it for like days. Yeah, Tracy, I soak my stuff for like four days. It says to do it for 48 hours maximum, but... Just, no. <laughs> well, I'll check it. You know, you keep stirring it. So I'll check it. And if it's like totally good, I'm fine. But normally, to get the, the stains that I've been working with, it normally takes four days at least. And sometimes I leave it in there for like seven days. I mean, I'm just not, I'm being honest. Yeah. It does leach the color, which is why if it's a white, it's gray because the color, you don't have to worry about it. Thanks for using our link. Yes. I don't know what it does, but thank you. Like three and a half cents. Oh yeah, Pearl. I've heard of this. Mm. I've never used this. I just let it leach the color out of my my darks. I don't care. I just sell it as a different color. It's never like a totally different color. Instead of navy, it'll be like royal. Or instead of teal, it'll be like aquamarine or something. You know, it's just like a little bit lighter. Um, I have never, and I told this to Chelsea the other day, Tracy, I have never had anything bleed. 
Like I've done prints before and they haven't bled. Hold on, I'm gonna go get the thing I did that was a print. I'm gonna show you what I mean. I'm still here taking pictures. I'm over here. <laughs> I don't know if the chat's working or not. I can't see the chat. What's going on here? What's going on here? Our thing that has a print on it. I think care. Oh, that like leaf mm -hmm. print or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's like hanging over here now. Oh. It was a blue, yellow, and white dress, and unfortunately, it did bleed. With Retro Clean? Did it ruin it, Gretchen? I'm very, very curious. What? Oh, it's hiding. This one? Yeah. This okay. didn't bleed at all. So maybe it's like the fabric too. I don't know. Because I know that like depending on how a garment is dyed, the fabric can take well, anyway, I dye a lot of fabric. So I did this. This is Eskandar, and it's worth like a million trillion dollars. And it didn't bleed at all. But it was wrecked. So I soaked it for like seven days. So these leaves used to be darker, but they just got lighter. But it still like didn't bleed. No, I'm so sorry that it bled. I've never had it bleed on me. Like I always try it on things that, you know, if it's if it bleeds, I'll I'll be okay. But this this Eskandar was unsellable. So I just soaked it for seven days and now I don't think there's any more spots on it. It was all across the front, it was all this orange stuff. Not good. And I think it's gone. And this was a linen. Let me <clears> see what <throat> this is. Oh my god, this cat. Um, you can also use that writ stuff that I was showing you guys if you want to try to save that piece. It's supposed to take out, you know, color bleed. I don't know if it actually works for that purpose. I use it for a different purpose. So much of our lives is just like, you know, trial and error. I know that OxyClean bleeds. Like everything I've ever put in OxyClean has bled. That's why I was so excited to find RetroClean because it didn't bleed. I used this as my test case. And when it didn't bleed, I was like, sweet. Because you would have noticed it. Like, see how crisp these leaves are? You would have noticed the bleed like immediately. Hey, cool dude. We are mean moving on Monday to the new channel. Uh, just for the lives. Um, that color out stuff is the same as I don't know where that rich stuff went. I already lost it again. No, it's on the other side. Oh no, over on over there that way. Oh, I see. So this is one. Thing. The only thing that gives me pause is I use this to leach color from items when I want, before I dye it, but it says mm -hmm. 
removes dye from fabric dyed incorrectly. Removes dye stains from white fabric washed by mistake with colored items. I don't know. I've never tried it for that purpose, but I did have a pair of Alice and Olivia jeans that were blue and white striped that had had that happen. And I was going to try this, so I bought it. But then I think I donated those jeans. Sorry. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Yeah, Lindsay, try the color out stuff or this red stuff. I know that I think it's the same stuff. Especially if it's already ruined. Like, what do you have to lose, right? That's how I look into it. So I use this stuff on a whole load of laundry when I did Spring Awakening. <clears throat> the the lead was wearing a red dress. And then all the guys were wearing white dress shirts. So there's 12 white dress shirts and then this one red dress. And, of course, like college kids doing laundry. They put the red dress in with the whites. And all the white shirts turned pink. So I use this and I got them back to white. So it does work. I just don't know. I don't know how it works with other colors. That's what I'm trying to say. It will take the dye out of the white part for sure. Will it lighten the color of your colors? I don't know. I'm going to guess. <laughs> because it says. I know. Yeah, yeah, and luckily when I was doing it, it was like all white. So I'm not really sure. So much of reselling is just experimentation. All right. Okay, so we're going to call it. I'm out of the photo cave. Yes. Oh, yeah, <sighs> powder. Oh. <laughs> tidy whities. Yeah, not where the tidy whities. Oh, three to four minutes. That's great. Mm -hmm. I got a photo of everything. Hang on. Okay. Okay. I would say we just did this to a dress maybe two weeks ago. And I would say it probably took two to three minutes as well. Or three to four minutes. We kept it going for up to 30 minutes, but the color never came out more than it did in the first bit right Dan yeah yeah Carrie you're so sweet she's always about the like button hit that like button <laughs> I'm doing a junk bag haul tomorrow. I'm pretty stoked about it. I should have filmed it today, but we didn't have time. No time. No time. It was one of those days where we worked all day but didn't realize it. I don't know. We worked all day. Because mm -hmm. we filmed the haul at noon. How did it become 7.30? You know, it's a good question. <laughs> Yeah, this one's good. I got a lot. And I'm going to try to include some comps with it so you guys know what I'm going to sell it for. Like the OG junk bag video. Those are the best ones when the comps come up. Where you're like, oh my <laughs> god. That's worth this. Hopefully I got some good stuff. You just never know. Sometimes they're bust. Mm -hmm. It's just like gambling. And we don't have to drive to Oklahoma. It's the best. <laughs> I thought our, we did a haul today, and I thought it was pretty lame. I was like, mm. I mean, we went to like a million th thrift stores. It was a huge haul. I thought it was pretty lame. And then when I started doing the comps, I was like, okay. okay. Like, this is pretty good stuff. So I think we'll end up making a ton of money. I think <coughs> all in all, we spent maybe $200. Very cheap stuff we were buying. Especially. Yeah. It, yeah, and it, yeah. Across all the stuffs. Totally. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, okay, let's see what we got here. All right, I'm going to go and turn on my screen and see what happens here. 
Looking good? Looking good. Okay, what's the first thing? Um, if I should go to my listings and get some First drops. thing is... So many drops. <laughs> first thing is Eeyore. All right, look at all these drafts I made today, you guys. It was crazy. I was drafting like a crazy person. Okay, that's where I started. Sorry, it's going to take me a second to get okay. acquainted. It's okay. You are hello. I have this listed at 100. Really? No, okay. Because none of the other ones have tags. Okay. <laughs> Gresson's all about the junk bag. Love a junk bag. Carrie's excited about the junk bag haul. <laughs> all right, I'm ready. Okay, here you go. Actually, gonna get some things listening. It's only eight twelve. It's fine. Uh. No, we're here till ten thirty. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're not kidding. <laughs> Look at his butt. Is a Boudreaux's butt. <laughs> Poor Eeyore. He always looks terrible in photos. Hey, guys. Mm. I like this one because it has the tick. This one, he's just like. <laughs> <eat plate. laughs> All right, butt picture going to the last. Yeah. All right, so I have this guy listed at 100 because he's from Disney Parks. He still has the tag, and he's a vintage. So we're going to see how this does. We're just going to see. We're just going to see. All right, choose plus local. Next. Next is the Rabbids plush. I think I looked at this one higher, too, because it had newer tags. Nickelodeon 2014. This Nickelodeon stuff, oh, I get to sign in again. Like, I wasn't just using it. Perfect. What's wrong? This chat's not working here. Let me refresh that. Okay. <laughs> I know. Do you think the front or the three quarters is better for him? Ooh. Front? Tough call. Three quarters. Oh, the front. Or what about this one? This was kind of like tilty front. Tilty front, huh? What is going on? Why you gotta mess with it? Oh, no. I'm trying to get you to show you the chat. Oh, no. Mm -mm. What? What's happening? That's why I said don't mess with it. Yeah, that's not it. <laughs> that's very weird. No, we're still good. Okay. Well, uh, Luciana wants to know what brand of steamer we use. Jiffy. Even though it's still leaks. Great. That's currently leaking. Okay. We use Jiffy. Um, Every other one has been, like, horrible. True. That this is absolutely true. This one's mildly horrible. <laughs> but not terrible. All right. Okay, the next one is the pink and blue striped rabbit. Mazapan. 
That's what it's called. Ooh, okay. Very rare. Very, very rare. Extremely. I can put extremely on a pit. I have it at seventy nine ninety five. Okay. I might put it at eighty nine. I'm put eighty nine. All right. Yeah, man. All right. I'm ready. Okay. Here you go. All right. We got twenty nine people here working on a Friday. Okay. This bunny is super in demand. I don't know why. Shut the bunny. I'm trying to capitalize on Easter, you know what I mean? Mm hmm. Look at this guy, he's in the front. That's the best way to <laughs> Watch this, though. Oh, I better put something about Easter in here. Okay. Okay, next. Yep. Uh, Manhattan Toy Company. Tiger hand puppet. Gretchen wants to know: Are we going late tonight? Yep, we oh, yeah. sure are. We're gonna list so many things. It's gonna be great because I drafted all of these things. Right. The other batch in the heater is finishing up. Oh, nice. I know. Timing of everything is gonna be. <laughs> <Chef's kiss. laughs> all right. I'm ready for the toy. -ger. Ready for the toy -ger. It's toy. -ter. Toy like a tiger. I love pre drafting. I love it. That's all I can tell you. So good. Right, which one of these pictures am I going to use? Probably this one, huh? Ball. Oh. <laughs> you put your hand in it? No, I didn't put my hand in it. Yeah, I think I like the three quarters. Yeah. Nice. That's a kind of a tag friend. No? No. Oh. No. No. What? I forgot. It's fine. Okay. Only 20 bucks. Oh. All right. Not bad. Not bad. I missed the threshold. Yep. I don't mess with it if it's nine ninety five or less. I need to save all that and send it to Rebel. She'll she'll list them. Next. Uh -huh. Bogey. This guy. Okay, Bogey. Bogey. This is from the LGPA. Did you know that? Uh, I saw something about that on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Okay. There you go. We're out of plush bins. We need to consolidate or get more bins or something. Always consolidating the inventory. I know. I wish we had a warehouse or something. That's just not in the cards. No. Not right now. It's not. I don't want to go anywhere. I know. <laughs> like, half the best part of is this whole thing is that we don't have to go to work. It's more. It's more than half. Yeah. And then as soon as you have to go somewhere, it's like, uh, ugh. I mean, even I could even go to the garage. I'm like, God, really? <laughs> it's all the way in the garage. All right, well, that's worse than me. I'm not like that. But imagine you to get in the car and drive somewhere. Oh, hell no. I know, but it's not in your house. So that's a good thing. But then the other thing is, like, you right. have to drive somewhere. Right. What if it snows or if it's raining or if your car breaks down? Or, like, what do you... You have to get dressed. Now, see... Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. We had a storage unit like a mile away, and we never went there ever. Uh huh. Just to clear it up. Okay. Next up. Yeah. The fuddle waddle. Fuddle waddle. This guy's worth a lot. I have them priced at seventy. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm ready. There you go. Let's see. 
think it was one of those like England ones, you know, mm -hmm. where you don't really find them in the U.S. Because all the listings were from the U.K. Sweet. So I just priced it with the U.K. people headed at because I don't have to wait as long to get it from me. And so really? cute. Oh, my God. Oh, you didn't. What am I doing? Look how cute him is. <laughs> oh, which one's cutest? He looks sad now, and probably this one. <laughs> so cute. It took me about four minutes to list this. And you don't like taking me less of clothes. You know what I'm saying? I can hear you. Why do clothes take so long? Happy Friday, Teresa. But here after happy hour to see if I can get some things listed. Yeah. I feel this. Dan pours me a double champagne before these. That's right. It's fine. I'm here. <laughs> So I went to a concert and got a regular champagne, and I finished it in like two gulps. I was like, have you been pouring doubles? <laughs> like, what's going on here? He's like, I just fill the glass. Apparently, you're not supposed to fill the glass. Carrie wants to know how you know how you know it's a funnel well. It's kind of like patchy. You know what I mean? Like, so there's a couple of things. I think it's more about, see how, how they sit like that with their hind legs out and the front legs down on the ground? I think that com and combined with the way the fur is, that's what makes it a funnel well. The fur is a little kind of curly looking. Yeah. Chelsea could tell you. She knows. Right? Chelsea knows for sure. And then the bashful, show her the bashful, how you know that. Because his arms go back. His arms go back behind his back. <laughs> He's a king. <laughs> and his head goes down. No. No. <laughs> okay, what's that? Okay. Oh, bashful? Yep. Yep. And with the bashful bunnies, it's all about the colorway. Like, there's no other way to... It does... It. Yeah, it does say on the tag. If it has the tag, it tells you exactly what they're called, the size and their name and everything. But sometimes we don't have that. Right. These jelly cat people, they know. Oh, they know. All right. Ready? Oh, Gretchen found a fuddle waddle panda. Oh, that would be good. Nice. I love the old fuddle waddle. <laughs> <laughs> what are we saying? I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> it makes me money. I do not care. Uh, this baby looks dingy. Why does it look dingy? Because it's like a. I don't know. I'm not dingy at all in real life. This is a very difficult color. Is it? Yeah, you guys have some schmutz. Schmutz? I didn't see any schmutz. It's very faint. You better get in there with a band wave. Did you say schmutz? I can't. You're going to be doubting now. I can't tell. I didn't see any schmutz on that guy. Maybe it's just this terrible lighting on me. God! <sighs> Do you see my face on this every <laughs> night and you complain about it? My face looks like a haggard old troll living Stop in the Stop it. No. no, it does. It's like <laughs> the worst lighting ever and I have to deal with it. And then he's like, this light. <laughs> <laughs> Where it hits me while I'm sitting here, I look like... <laughs> I have wrinkle old fingers and like a hat and everything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get away. That's what I should be having right now. So this guy's only worth 20 but that's okay. Okay. Only. Like clothes. Only. We sell clothes for $20 all the time. Right. And they take me forever to list. Next up is okay. the donkey. Donkey. I think he's a bashful, bashful donkey. <laughs> yeah, he is bashful donkey. He's actually rare. I have him listed at 50 Oh, nice. His colorway, that light gray. Mm -hmm. The other donkey is more of a purple gray. Okay. Okay. Yeah, rare. I'll put it in the title. Perfect. I'll put an exclamation mark for Chelsea. <laughs> hey, Celeste. How are you?
I'm ready. Ready. Here you go. So the key to making this workflow work for me, if you're wondering, because I said I cannot, I don't have a draft for those. I have the stuff in the photo box then. Um, I hold the item while I draft it. And then Dan just takes a picture and I drop them in. But I put all the information I need to put in the draft while I'm holding the item. I don't know why I'm freaking neurotic. I have to do that. It's a reach. It's a reach. Stuff. Easier said than done. Mm. I need you to lighten these photos up. Lights on, please. I have to go through and do it individually. Okay. Can that just be part of your workflow forever? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Okay. It's way better. Sometimes it makes the color not accurate. Really? Yes. Can you give it a whirl? Okay. Oh, man. This is heavy. Oh, that geez. thing is heavy. Yeah, I know. Uh, God. But, like, look at, look at this. It's not accurate either, though. See what I'm saying? I can't see. Yeah, it's really easy to do. Oh. <laughs> so, I have to come in here and, like, whoa. But his color way makes him valuable. So it needs see, to I didn't know. Okay. Yeah. But it's still that is, accurate. That is way. That's way darker right way darker. yeah i don't know why and sometimes like like i was saying when i was taking my own photos it was lighter on the camera than it when it imported ebay it was darker and i couldn't figure out why that's very weird maybe that's the same thing you know phenomenon is happening to you yeah Heading back to comment land. Oh, uh, but this thing though. Damn. The Seinfeld refrigerator box set. You're gonna have to take all the pieces out of that. Yeah. There's a lot of pieces. Because people want to know if it has the coffee table book. And I didn't know, but ours does. I actually cleaned the outside of it. Can you tell? I can. I did. Clean it with a baby wipe. This thing is sweet. It is very heavy. So that's the coffee table book right there. This one? Yeah. Yep. It says so. Coffee table book. I see that. Okay, I see it here. Okay. Oh, man. Let's show people the thing. Okay, so yeah, this is a the refrigerator box set. It is the complete series. Here, let's take it off here. Boom. It's the complete series of Seinfeld on DVD in this very nice case here it's got the coffee table book all the dvds and that <clears throat> sits inside this box set that looks like like a fridge and then even has like fake stuff in it Everyone hanging. No, we're just getting back here to play. 
three seconds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he let you hang it. So I guess I could post most other stuff and make better dress. It does have some marks here on the inside. Are those not on the inside of that? I definitely didn't even open it. Okay. Can we spill like a Coke on it or something? Something. Yeah, this was on the outside. Nice, come too. right off. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, it's kind of coming off. There's like a not good place, but fine. I'm just going to lower the price, you know, but it's still worth a lot. Especially if someone's buying it not for the packaging, but they love Seinfeld. Right. Which people do. Also, right. I do not. <laughs> I do not understand that show, not anyone loves it. Cleaning the coffee table book with a baby wipe. Well, yeah. <laughs> or whatever this outside. Oh! Oh! Okay, so I wasn't cleaning the coffee table book. I was cleaning this thing. This is cool, though. Do they still make stuff like this? Themed uh, DVD sets? I'm not sure. I mean, I, I, for some stuff, I think they make, like, yeah, DVD and Blu-ray collector stuff still. So. Yeah, but is it like cool like this? Probably not anymore, no. Y'all, they started making a keto sorbet. I'm dead. <laughs> I mean, they go to the store, they didn't have it. <laughs> but they're going to have it one day. Right. I love a sorbet. I'm Italian. What can I say? You had come home with that. Oh, I was so happy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't have it yet. She texted me a picture of it. I was like, diverting the Kroger. <laughs> I need this right now. <laughs> I want the raspberry one so bad. You probably want the coconut one. Coconut? No, I would take raspberry for sure. Lemon is nine. Or I would take lemon, but it's nine. Did you see that? It was nine. I did not. I didn't even see what the playlist they had. Lemon, coconut, mango is one. Ooh. Raspberry's four. Coconut's one. And then um, the lemon was nine. I don't get it. Crazy. If they had a lime, yeah. oh, girl. <laughs> You'd be all about it? Lime is my jam. Anything lime. Lime flavored, anything. I'll eat it. I'll drink it. I don't care. Oh, I got, you got to, I didn't make a keto coupon pie. That'd be delicious. I would eat it. I love keto pies. I love pie. <laughs> <laughs> I love limes. I love pie. <laughs> you said you was going to make some bagels. Oh, man. I love right. bagels. It's the weekend of bagels. Bagel weekend. <laughs> we have to dedicate our weekends to something or nothing happens. I like weekends if nothing is. Yeah, but we have to get some stuff then. Right. All right, I think this thing's as clean as it's getting with this baby wipe. If I go any further, I'm going to ruin it, you know? Yeah. Man, that guy at the register really wanted this thing. Felt bad. <laughs> Felt bad for him. He, he dropped it. He fell out of the top. I know. Like, buddy. Careful with my box set there, guy. Um, keto champagne by nature, the dry champagne is keto. So, bring it on, baby. It's not like what? One card per? Well, you know, dry, dry, dry. Yeah. The bone dry sparkler has zero. 
but then normal like if you go to a restaurant and you get a dry prosecco or something extra dry actually it's like one carb per glass which is like nothing compared to like a beer which is like 12 carbs you know the, yeah the champagne is different and because technically i was making this mistake an extra dry champagne is not is sweeter than a brute so you need brute or extra yeah dry. but that yeah brute that means dry it's gotta be because they do have right extra dry champagne also and it's much sweeter than the brute. i know you got me that one champagne i was like this is delicious and, uh, and i found it on the label the marca is extra dry it's not even brute oh i know that's why we don't drink la marca no we can't drink la marca it is way too sweet <laughs> um we do yeah carbs uh we we don't really do net carbs we do total carbs but we do subtract uh sugar alcohol so if it's anything with erythritol or allulose we do not count those as carbs so we eat this ice cream called rebel ice cream and it is made with allulose and uh i mean no, monk fruit. Uh, with monk fruit. Right? Yeah. and anyway so you can just deduct all those carbs and it's like four carbs or the whole carton of ice cream yikes but now Rebel is making sorbet, which I prefer to ice cream. I've been lactose intolerant my whole life, so I'm not really an ice cream fan. I mean, sometimes when I want, like, chocolate or something, I'll have some ice cream. But, like, Dan brought home vanilla the other night with caramel in it. I'm just like, I'd rather not have it. <laughs> I don't like vanilla stuff at all. And um, I don't really like ice cream. I think it's because I associate it with stomach aches. I've never... My grandmother, she loves ice cream. To eat it every meal, but I didn't get that from her. I don't really enjoy it anyway. But I do love a sorbet, and now this company Rebel makes sorbet that is sweetened with sugar alcohols or whatever. So it's keto. Pretty excited about it. I love gelato so much. I can live off of it for the rest of my days. But see, when we go for the gelato, Dan would get like the ice cream kind of gelato. I would get like the sorbet kind of gelato. You know what I mean? Which is different in that regard. Wouldn't you get ice cream like gelato? Yeah, I, mean, I can appreciate both. It just yeah. depends what kind of mood I'm in. For sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just tell me the difference. What kind of mood I'm in. That's true. But like, that's what I'm trying to explain in not so delicate of a way. I'm never in the mood for ice cream. I would never pick it over a sorbet, which is why I'm like so excited. You can order them off the website, you know. Oh, they come to your house in dry ice. Perfect. And it's going to be my birthday, so we better have sorbet. You got a month. Let's <laughs> a month. You got three weeks. Pressure's on. Uh, the Rebel Sorbet is not in, in our Kroger yet, but I just saw an ad for it, and you can get it off the Rebel website. There you go. Yeah. I get vicious about my Sorbet. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm just joking, Dan, because he's really got a birthdays. Tell him. It's true. I, <laughs> I have to tell him what to get. Like, get me this. I want this ice cream, I want this meal, I want this card, and I want this gift. Or it will be nothing. And he'll be like, I didn't know. I didn't know you wanted anything. <laughs> I think it's just we grew up differently. Like, you didn't really do stuff for your birthday, right? Mm. Yeah, it's not really birthday. You didn't have, like, special breakfast on your birthday? I mean, no. I mean, yeah. we had like gifts and stuff, but. Yeah, he's German. Yeah. It is your birthday. You will like it. Congratulations, you have made it. <laughs> like your mom told me that one time. You are 35 now. That is not very young for a woman. <laughs> Dang! Dang, mom! You left me this voicemail. <laughs> mom, why you gotta. Oh, come on now. She really did. Hello, Amy. This is Helga. It is your birthday, and you are 35, which is not young for a woman. <laughs> I was handed to the front of my stuff. <laughs> your mom just totally owned me on my birthday. <laughs> well, that's it. This is where Dan gets his birthday hat <laughs> from. <laughs> 
Uh. Last year, my parents came here for my birthday. They're like, "Damn, we're gonna help you out." <laughs> he was stressing. Like, man, this is so much pressure. So my parents just came here. It was fine. <laughs> The shoes didn't turn out to be too bad. They're, I think they were 50 or 60. Okay. Yeah. What about my horror DVDs? They're like 15, 20. Okay. That's pretty good for a DVD, though. Pretty, pretty decent. And I bet you they'll sell. There's only like three or four others listed from what I remember right. from hours ago. What if they go to that same place with that weird address? <laughs> it's weird. They went to the middle of a field. You never know when you're sending horror DVDs out. You just never know. Yeah, you have no idea. See, Christina, the lactose pills don't work for me. They do not. I guess maybe I need like double strength or something. In the whole, my whole life, everyone was like, "Yep, yeah, you're fine." We would you're go just up. Imagining it. We would go out for ice cream, and I'd be like, "I don't want any." They'd be like, "You're fine." And I'd be in the car, like, "Ah!" <laughs> <laughs> my dad's famous. Stop being so dramatic. And then I got my DNA test, and it was like a hundred percent lactose intolerant. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know how it's like mildly likely, somewhat likely. This was all, all the way red. A hundred percent, you are lactose intolerant. Okay, like I didn't know that. But in my adult life, so I accepted I was lactose intolerant in my 20s because I could choose my own food and I stopped eating all dairy. And then once I married Dan, we were like, we got to figure this out because it was hard. Like he's not lactose intolerant and we both love like he's German. Like a lot of the stuff has dairy in it. Anyway, we found out that hard cheeses and like buffalo mozzarella and goats, cheese, we found all these wonderful options. And we don't eat fake cheese ever. We used to eat like almond cheese and stuff, but we don't do that anymore. We just eat like, we have this store called Sprouts. I don't know if you have it, but maybe Whole Foods is the same or Wegmans or whatever, or Publix. But in their cheese department, they have goats, mozzarella, goats, Gouda, goat. What's the new one we just got? They have a goat blue. We haven't tried it yet. Goat blue. So basically it's just. I forgot the brand, but they make goat's milk, raw cheddar. Also. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. And then, so I can have all the cheese I love. And then I could also have, um, from Green Valley, they make sour cream, uh, cream cheese, and um, cottage cheese. I don't like cottage cheese, but they make that from lactose-free ingredients, and they sell that at Whole Foods and most regular grocery stores now. It's totally life-changing. I'm telling you what, totally life-changing. Because now we make, like, everything with cream cheese and keto. You yeah. can't do keto without cream cheese, in my opinion. If you want anything good, we use right. it in a lot of recipes. Yeah, the hard cheese, if they're aged, they don't have any lactose in them. And then also heavy whipping cream doesn't have any lactose. And I've avoided that my whole life, not knowing. I mean, if it's true heavy whipping cream, not like the stuff at Starbucks that has milk in it. But true heavy whipping cream, if it just it's has, not, yeah, not thin, if no. it's not thin, <laughs> if it just has cream in the ingredients, um, it's totally fine. So we make these creamy sauces and everything all the time, and I eat them, and they're delicious. <laughs> and it doesn't bother me, like, 0%. It, I have no repercussions from it. My life has been changed figuring out that the cream is the top, the stuff that goes to the top, and the sugary water below it is milk. And that's what bothers me. So I'm like, give me the cream. It's working out. If you're trying to go on a diet and you're not keto, though, cream can get you in a little trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it's got some calories in it, if you know what I'm saying. We make bagels with goat mozzarella, but it's expensive. So for bagels, when we make the fat head, it's called fat head. We make bagels out of the almond shredded mozzarella from Trader Joe's. And it tastes identical. It actually tastes better. It's really, really good. And yeah. it's cheaper. So they have the shredded mozzarella that we use on cheese. as I mean, uh, we call it pizza as well. And it's made out of almond milk from Trader Joe's. It's shredded just like regular craft. It's delicious. It doesn't taste weird. Oh, like diet to me tastes super weird and I'm like, ooh, I'm eating like weird cheese. But that cheese tastes great. So we use that in fat head. But we've been using this other protein bread we've been making and it's just with like egg whites and what's in it. With the egg white powder and 
think it's got some allulose in there. Allulose, nutritional yeast, it's really weird recipe. Oh yeah, for the cheese flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and we're going to try and make bagels out of that. Oh, this thing's heavy. Because those bagels only have one carb, and the oh, fat and the bagels, bagels have like six carbs. Minimum. The way Dan makes them, they have like eight. Hey. <laughs> Use the fathead one. I'll I'll put it in the group or let you know if you remind me um, how these other ones. They're called protein sparing bagels from Maria Emmerich. She's my favorite. She makes all these recipes. She's so good. Every recipe we make from her is good. And anyway, she has this new bagel recipe. It has some weird ingredients in it, though. But it's supposedly the texture is just like bagels. Like, it's chewy. And I'm married to a Jewish man who's German. He loves bagels. I absolutely He's in here, like, salivating. He's like, I love bagels. So if I could get him a bagel with some cream cheese and wax, oh, I think... Oh, I'd be dead. I'd be dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead, I tell you. <laughs> So we're gonna make that happen this week. I gotta go to Sam's and get the get the salmon. I already know. Okay. It's delicious. Um that's cute. Okay, Gretchen's interested in keto. It would be luxury compared to AIP. Yes, it is. I did AIP. I know. It is luxurious. It'll change your life. Um you know, I do. I, I hesitate to recommend keto to anybody because I don't want to recommend it as a diet ever because I think it's it doesn't teach you all the eating habits uh, to maintain it unless you're keto basically as a lifestyle. So we are. We've been, I think it's four years now, probably five. I have no idea. There isn't, we'll never not be keto. I think it's four. Four. But four of the rest of our lives, right? However long that is. Yeah. And that's okay. You just have to make that decision for yourself and like really look at the science. And I have. What's not good is to take your body in and out. So you're either in ketosis and that's how your body is functioning or you're not. And going yo-yoing back and forth is just really, really hard on your body. That's why you get what's called the keto flu because your body is like, girl, what are you doing to me for the first couple of days? Because you have your body transitions. Yeah, your whole yeah, that's what I mean. Your metabolism transitions. So you're burning different sources. I mean, it's annoying when we go to restaurants and stuff, but we just don't go to restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> we save a lot of money. We actually did a European cruise on keto, so if we can do it, anybody can do it. We went all through Europe on keto. Yeah, some doctors aren't crazy about keto, but then other ones are. Just, that's who you talk to. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I just look at science. I just look at medical reports. The blue books, that's all I do is read medical studies. And for me, it just makes sense. I mean, cholesterol is a thing that, I don't know, you have high cholesterol, right? Um... Isn't he kind of like that? There's a yeah. test that you should get that's called a CAC test if you're worried about that. And it's actually about the plaque in your arteries instead of the number that's given is kind of misleading. The yeah. CAC test doesn't lie, if you know I what have, I mean. I have really high good cholesterol also. Which is, which is awesome. We're about that. We'll get you the CAC test next time you go for your physical. Yeah. I'm also in like 4,000 keto groups, so... I recognize that I have a bias because I learn a lot from people posting articles and stuff. I used to say article studies. The refrigerator is done. It's done. Seinfeld fridge. Complete. 100% complete. Teresa, you're so right. She's saying that some people can be flexible. I can't because I have a hormone issue that causes epilepsy. So I cannot. I cannot. But you're right. But she says some people who do not thrive on keto would do okay cycling, but not eating bacon 24-7 on keto. <laughs> no, no we try not to do clean keto, but Dan's like the bacon. That's his vice. But everything else we do keto, we are not the like yeah, but I don't, keto people. Yeah, I don't, I'm not like saving my bacon 
grease and cooking <laughs> everything I eat in it. I, I'm not, no, but I do have bacon in the morning. But I do not. I don't think it's like a ridiculous amount, though. You kind of, it's borderline. Is it ridiculous. borderline ridiculous? Yeah, it's like four or five. It's very, very rare than five. What is this cat doing? Calling at the door. I, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Yikes. That's respectable. Do not let don't don't encourage him. <laughs> it was so frustrating when we started keto because we started for epilepsy, not for weight loss at all. And this man lost sixty pounds. I was like I did not lose sixty. It was sixty pounds total. Yeah. Yeah. How much was it? Uh thirty five. Total? Yeah. I thought it was sixty. No. Because I'm yeah, like he's one, saying it's one, 35. The, the lightest I got was 145. So the most I ever lost was like 35 to like 40. You could call it, I don't think you could call it 40. Okay, well, Because I was never 185. Okay, guess how much this girl lost? Nothing. Zero. It's fine. <laughs> Somebody's not bitter. Hey, Carolina Baker. No, it was just funny that you were just like not even trying to lose it. Yeah, it was just like yeah. melting. <laughs> I was like, what is this? Like, I don't know. Nothing fits. <laughs> oh my God. Do, are we going to need to go up there? Is that Jeremy the like person? The person, right? We, we this happened him. last time. No, we would have heard him go up the stairs. Do I need to go and like? Are they just chasing each other around? What is happening? <laughs> Gretchen said when she found AIP friendly bacon, she ate the whole package. <laughs> <laughs> I feel this. <laughs> it was only 10 slices. Dan would do that too. I would. If I wasn't like eyeing him at breakfast, I'm always like. Excuse <laughs> <laughs> me. I like a big breakfast, all right? Keeps me going. The whole day, pretty much. That's true. We don't really eat lunch. Carrie wants us to take the camera to see the cat. Okay. <laughs> sounds crazy up there. It does. So the owner of these cats has our house key and clicker and everything. So technically, he could come in at any time. And it sounds like a person up What is that? I don't know. I don't know. Like I am. At... They all want you to take the camera. I can't. <laughs> can you guys hear? Right, I got. I got to go. <laughs> You're FaceTiming. I can show them. Oh no, you have your phone. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take it. <laughs> I can show them on the FaceTime. We don't know how to hook this phone up. Oh my god! It is so loud. It sounds like. I will be shocked if there's not a person up there. But like the stairs are right here. So we would hear someone go up the stairs. So our office is right under the apartment. I wish I could draw you guys a floor plan, but our office is right under the apartment and the stairs to the apartment are right beside us. So if it was a human being, here Dan right now. That's him going up. We would hear him. Couldn't have been. And the guy that owns these cats is like 300 pounds. We would hear him. Oh, um, Picnic came out by herself last night. This is the first time. Like when Dan went up there, she came out say hello so it's been like two months since she finally came out super exciting he's giving them more food i can hear everything going on up there this is kind of also why we don't want like someone living up there because we can hear everything right you hear it 
I feel like we're on the Blair Witch Project. I told him to call me, but he'll forget. I'm gonna FaceTime him. See if I'm there. Oh, he's coming back down. No, he's going back up. We wanted to see the cat. Well, okay. Look at this guy. Look. What's he doing? He's running around. Being a Where's Pickpick? going by okay you got to see Jeremy at least I guess he was doing his laps he is a very cute cat and you know what they're both very sweet he's crazy he does run around but he's we have to remember like Mojo's 21 and Jeremy's like three so he's got a lot of energy and he's stuck up in the apartment you know he's never been an outdoor cat so I don't think he feels stuck I think he feels comfortable but he's got energy. I got to remember that. And especially at night, he just, like, he doesn't, we work in here all day and he does, I don't, and I never hear them. It's just at night, so it's fine. As long as we know that that's the sound he's making, he's not, like, getting into anything. He's fine. He loves the bed. Oh, my God, he's all, the bed is his. He's all over the bed. He's running around like a crazy well, I was just yeah. saying, you know, we're just not used to it because Mojo's 21. That's true. And he's like three. Yeah, we need to like play with him. Yeah. Like... <laughs> he's got a lot of energy at night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. All right, what am I even doing here? Him is cute. He's so cute. He's a sweet boy. Both of those cats are very sweet. Yeah. We got so lucky. You know how some people have really mean cats? They're not mean. Or like rambunctious or like get into things. Neither of them are like that. Yep. Okay, ready? Uh, what are we doing? Uh, I guess we're going to do some... Yeah, which one though? This, a lot of two rubber stamps. Perfect. Quilted quotes. Quilted quotes. <laughs> Better right than never. What's up, Christy? You missed... Nothing. No. Uh, you just missed uh, the cat cam. Cat cam. There was a. Jeremy is running around like an insane cat up there. So and he's making a lot of noise through the ceiling. So I have to go check. <laughs> okay. Quotes and quotes. Let's go. Let's go. So sometimes these rubber stamps are worth money. I got these at the bins. We'll see. We'll see if they sell. I normally like, pick up really niche ones or like big ones because I got into a rubber stamp hole one time. You sure did. It's down the rabbit hole. Okay. Let me make sure that was good. Then. Thank you. Okay, next. Coco Pelli. I listed so many drafts today. I can't even tell you. <laughs> I mean, probably like 40 is crazy. It's just going. That's awesome, though. 
I know, if I had all day to do that, I think we could hit 40 a day. But like I was saying earlier, I think you would run into an inventory issue. Uh, I, I totally agree with that, yeah. Because it, it's that kind of stuff that I could do fast. But if it's clothes or like housewares, <clears throat> yeah. I get hung up. So is that just telling me, is that my niche is just like random crap? <laughs> is that a niche? Okay. Okay. What well, wasn't all crap? It's gonna make us money. Maybe not these two stamps, but like. <laughs> you know, make I had this, this one Mary stamp. Meyer finger puppet will. No, we shouldn't have got that. Review. Man, people love Coca Pellies. If I didn't know someone that loved a Coca Pelli, I'd be like, "What are you talking about?" They <laughs> love them. Carolina Picker wants to know, not may, what, not really trying to promote myself. How long did you take to get to your twenty seven hundred subs? Okay, don't ask us this, Carolina Picker. We're really bad at YouTube. He's stuck at nine eighty six, and he lose one, gain one. Yeah, yeah we totally fine to post that question. We're we're still kind of there. Um, we let's do a collab. We'll have you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we started on YouTube two years ago. Um, but we didn't start doing like daily videos until January first of this year. That's when things started to gain a little bit of traction, right? No, it was a collab. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That helped for sure. Yeah. Okay, what now? What's the next thing? Next thing is the finger puppet. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, let's let's plan a collab and we can do and anybody on here that wants to do a collab, we're totally open. It's really scary to ask people to do a collab, right? So our first collab was that startup box that we just like had to pay $150 to go down the drain to get the collab, but we did. That was fun. Um, yeah, that helped our subscriber count quite a bit. It did get us monetized for sure. So if you think of an idea that you want to do, we're down. Anybody that has YouTube, we'll do it. Because I know how much it helped us, right? It's like, okay, I'm ready. It's invaluable. And then when we did the collab with Rebel, that was really helpful. Yep. Because a lot of her subscribers have never heard of us and vice versa. We actually both gained a ton of people doing that collab. I think half the time the algorithm just doesn't know where to put you. Like they don't, you know, people don't know you exist. That's what's happening with us. Yeah. So if you do a collab, you're almost certain to get new subscribers because they find you. And it's like crazy to me, like why wouldn't we do collabs, right? Yeah, totally. It's like everyone wins in a collab. But we've asked people to do clubs before, and we, they never get back to us. Oh, thanks, man. We really appreciate that. I didn't see it. He says, you guys rock, really. I love your videos and lives. I really mean that. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> okay, what's next? The uh, Muji shoes. I need you to box them and number them for me. Forty-three eighty-five. This is the workflow I'm trying to establish. So when we have shoes and clothes, you do that part of it. You know what I mean? So I don't have to bring the numbers over there. Yeah. Forty-three eighty-five. The bags and everything. It's just easier to do it this way. Yep. If you're trying to move the side of the refrigerator with one hand, and then, nope, don't do that. Why don't you just put it? Right behind you, I think a little spotter will fit. Right, nope, nope, right there. Yes. Tetris and right
I got these shoes on instinct, and it doesn't always work out, but I think these are going to work out. Oh, I should put art to wear. That's you. Oh, no. That's you. That's you. That's you. God. <laughs> You should hear it in the morning. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you. I found you when I searched for Besh Plush brand to resell and found your Bendu video. What? Amazing. Megan said she our video was pretty much the only coherent one. I binged in a little and then stopped. You know what? I think, Megan, you were like one of four people to watch that video. <laughs> That's exactly what I was about to say. You're one of like 17 people who've seen that video. We were so sad because we worked really hard on that video. And then we put on Vendu thinking a lot of people would see it. And then we checked like a day later wah, and there was wah. like 17. <laughs> we were like, what? Oh my god, I'm uh, so glad that you found us there. That's amazing. It really is. Okay, let me catch up on these comments here. Yeah, go for it. Um, Christy found us from a collaboration. Um, I'm thinking of YouTubing, but I'm scared of people. Gretchen says, <laughs> same. Yeah. <laughs> if I can ever help you all with anything, I will. I'm a programmer by trade. I guess you might say even thought I don't program for a living, even though I don't program for a living. Oh, very cool. Whoa, you're a programmer. Hey. 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 Stephen King book, The Algorithm. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, you should start a channel. Yes, yeah, Gretchen, you should start a channel. I didn't. I could, you know. We'll subscribe. Can we do a club? <laughs> <laughs> Don't sneeze on the merchandise. Try not to. Yeah, Chelsea was like an OG subscriber. Mm -hmm. Since so I think she was like 10 or something. We have like 10 that I vividly remember like in the chat a lot. Yeah. Or what do you call it? In the comments. You love Dan in the first few videos. Aww. Which videos? When he was... <laughs> <laughs> he's like, no, I don't want. To. <laughs> after after we stop filming, I'd be like, dude, you have to talk. <laughs> like, I, I tried. I'm like, no, you didn't. <laughs> you have to say something. <laughs> I I I don't I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> he's like so stoic i remember i told you to look at the camera and that's all you were doing you're like i got better i know <laughs> talking about your first few videos yeah ridiculous all right i'm ready okay ready shoe picks oh i didn't send you shoe picks nope. man i unselected them like i thought i sent them to you and everything weak all right oh no dvd pictures Shoe pictures. Ready? Here you go. Oh. Are you gonna keep up with the comments because I can't see them while I'm doing? Okay. Good lord, these cats. Carolina Picker says he can't get his wife to talk in them. She just stands in the videos, LOL. He asks her <laughs> questions and he gives one word answers. Dan. <laughs> Tell her Dan can, can yeah, sympathize. Yeah, totally. I don't like the side view. Of and Carrie's asking for his channel. She's going to go subscribe. Oh, good. Yeah, you just got to you gotta tell us the name of the channel. No, you I already subscribed to them. You can't do a link. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you meant me. Because it'll, if you try to post a link in the comments, it'll block it. It blocks your links? Yep. Why? It's weird, isn't it? In it. In it. <laughs> All right. What's next? Uh, Creep Show 2 DVD. Oh, man. <laughs> Good one. Yeah, we <laughs> love buying horror stuff. It always sells. The, like, the worse, the better. If the cover is, like, made with a Sharpie, it's even better. Teresa says, random catch-up. She did use peroxide on the Johnny Was tunic, and it worked perfectly. Score. Yes. Y'all, sometimes I tell you advice, and then it ruins your garment, and I'm sorry. 
Gretchen, I'm talking to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Creep show, right? Yeah, creep show. Yeah, by all means, post your channel name. We do not care. No, why mm. would we care? I know I a lot of people know. care. I don't know. I think you're new, and so you don't know that Dan gets kicked. <laughs> That's my favorite story about you. He's been kicked out of all the Facebook groups. <laughs> so I'm always like, are you in this group? Look at this post. It, I got kicked out. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can never remember which ones have rules against posting YouTube links, so I just post... He's it, never self-promoting. He's always answering a question. So somebody would be like, what Yeah, I'm never question? going I'm never going in there and randomly spamming the group like, <laughs> check out our channel. No, somebody would be like, What are the best plush brands of style? And I'd be like, Oh, we have a great video on this and he'll link it and right. then kick out. <laughs> like, well, you answered the question. The moderator has removed your post. Rule number seven, no <laughs> self-promotion. God. Fine. Like, what are you supposed to do? <laughs> You're trying to help. All right, send me those pictures. <laughs> He's literally uh, like maybe eight or ten groups totally just not in but <laughs> dang it sorry these DVDs were like brand new yeah there's like no scratches on them mm -hmm. that's what I said okay. creep show to anybody <laughs> are you interested Joanne says her daughter's visiting and they've been binging us for the last five hours. Oh, man. Oh, no, Joanne. <laughs> and, and the, Gretchen said, exactly, asterisk, post removed for being helpful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, Carolina says, I don't recall how I found the first video I saw of yours recently, but I've been enjoying them. Great motivation for someone who has a nine to five job, especially the 10 minute tasks. Oh, awesome. Good. good, good, good. They really have transformed the way we work. Okay, this next. goes next. Nightmare at noon. <laughs> <laughs> that was me this morning after all my hair fell out in the shower. Oh. <laughs> it was nightmare at noon. <laughs> Dang it. We have any doctors in the group? <laughs> all my hair is falling out again. Anybody? No? Okay. It's fine. It's like a horror movie. Okay, I'm ready. That's what Cody you said to me. I was like, what? Did you see it? I did, but man. It's very scary. It is. Somebody's going to say thyroid. I'm going to tell you already. I'm on like the highest thyroid ever in the history of medicine. Dang on custom. <laughs> custom thyroid. <laughs> Apparently it's not working. Apparently, my hair is like no man. Stress? Question mark? Maybe. Mm -hmm. That's just who I am as a person. That's my state of being. Okay. All right. What's next? Um, the Starbucks Alex and Olivia Barista Bear. Clean that thing too. That was nasty. All of this stuff had like coffee on it or something. Yeah. Somebody must have spilled their you coffee. You like? I almost said backstage. <laughs> I'm thinking I should probably I should take this out and take a picture of just the bear. Huh? Yeah, and you had to spin her around. I was hoping. You could do that. Stand by, please. Look how cute she is. <laughs> got a nice little hat on and everything. She's cute. Cute. Cute is cute. Cute is cute. And coming back to the comments. Get back to those comments. Oh my god, I'm never gonna Google my symptoms. I know my hair was falling out real bad, and then. You know, I went on like the highest, it's still falling out right here. There's more. Um, I went on the highest dose of thyroid medicine that I've ever been on. And I had to get it specially made gluten-free at the dang. Because the thyroid medicine, even the name brand has gluten in it. Ugh. So I have to get my medicine made at the compounding pharmacy. And then they have to hand deliver it in their little car. <laughs> Stupid. Anyway. And then they just keep upping it and upping it and upping it. 
Do you ever post something and within two minutes it sells for the first time ever? Say I posted something and before I could finish the next post, the item has sold. Yes. Love it. Love when that happens. What was it? What was your item? Yeah, what was it? Tell us. That's happened to us a couple of times, and one of the times because I priced it way too low. Hopefully that's not what you did. But if you did, who cares? It sold. Oh, Can't those, plate, those plates? Yes, yeah, those plates. Oh, man. I those are some good ones. I had these vintage Ray Dunn plates. I could not find a comp, but they were tiny, so I was like, they can't be worth that much. They were worth a lot. They were worth a lot. I sold them for 50 bucks, and I think I could have gotten, like, what do you think? What, 500? I do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Because <laughs> everyone, my inbox was full of people like, did you just sell those? I will buy them. And I'm like, oh, man. Don't buy all Ray Dunn. It's not good, but these were special. Okay, what is the... Um... Ellis and Olivia, first a bear. It's you. I have to list this as used, right? Yeah. Excellent pre owned condition, still in original box. Yep. Okay. Ready? Yep. Oh, it was a it was a GTX nine sixty graphics card. Sold it for 119 and you got it for seven bucks. Awesome. Nice. Is that a is that a mining card? I think you can use it for mining. Yeah. Because China right now you can't. Right. GPU GPUs are still way hard to get. Dan's a miner. We have like all these GPUs. Yeah, my, I gotta set I gotta set it back up. I've been talking about it forever. Maybe my, Carolina Picker will help you. Yeah, my friend my friend Tony can help me too. Oh, is he gonna but, help you? Well, I just gotta, like I said, I just have to set aside the time to do it, and but it's, it's literally it's probably gonna take me a whole day because it's been down for like two years, and it's like Windows updates, and it's, I gotta probably hey, have Elena. to start from scratch and re reflash all the cards, and oh, it's a whole thing. Yeah, but <laughs> but then it'll be generating money. Ether, yeah. We need money. Dan has made a ton of money in cryptocurrency. He spent it, but he made it. So that's all that counts. I don't believe in you. What do you mean that? I made it and I spent it. You did. Well, the, for the company. Yeah. Yeah. It did got us get us out of a dire strait though, which I'm surprised. It did. It was Dan's company like owed I a lot of money. I still personally have some stashed. Yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah. touching. But he was able to pay off this huge debt for his business out of money he invested in the or with the business money he invested it yeah and then got them out of debt with like fake money I, I still, <laughs> still can't quite understand right. elena you're not late no one's late nobody's ever late we don't have rules here no rules Okay, next. Yep. The gold black circle cutter. Dealey bobber thing in the jig. Okay. Yeah, mine just sits too. It just sits and sits and sits. And it's what? been uh, Carolina Printer's crypto just sits because he doesn't want to get the tax bill. I yeah. get that. But I went, I went in on it knowing that I was going to be holding it for a good number of years and not doing anything with it. That was my whole plan. Yeah, I can't really. Uh, Seinfeld. I'm a little nervous. I don't know what to price it. Oh, well, I'm going to do 100. I think you should do more. There's a bunch listed. There they also. Oh. Okay. I mean, okay, I'll do more. You've convinced me. <laughs> 
I guess someone will offer us, right? Right, yeah, everybody's we're always pay enough tax. Okay, what was in? Somebody will offer? Yeah. yeah. Said packaging has some wear on the edges. True. Yes. All right, let's go. Let's go. Send. I know that some of these have the silver in the background, but photo did not look good. Okay. Because the white, it got confused. It was all over. That's a good picture. I'm gonna use this one, right? Hmm? Okay. That yeah. one because it like shows inside and yeah. Seinfeld and refrigerator. Cool. Yeah. It's gonna crop it though. Ah. Oh. What happened? It crop it very well. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Come on, guy. All right. We're going to get heater stuff. No. Do we need it? No, I have so much stuff. You still have stuff? Okay. Oh, my gosh, Jimmy. I have so many things. Oh, my God. It's like a horde over here. Okay. You're trying to bring more horde into the horde. <laughs> okay. I want to see how many things we've gotten listed to compare. Okay, you have this going into 1572, and there's no way on 1572. So this has to go to Hi, Christina. Christina's leaving. Have a good weekend. Thank you. What, the eBay platform has a better image editor than what? Than Photo Room? You think it's better? Yeah. Is it? The background remover? I'm on the app. See, we don't use the app. That's the problem. Yeah. Okay, what am I doing? Listings, active, quilted quotes. <laughs> oh, the new listing tool. I know what you're saying now. I just saw your comment. Submit. No, Gretchen's not leaving. It's listing. I think sometimes I lose sales because I'm too honest in my descriptions, but I refuse to lie to get the sale. That's a good that's a good strategy because you'll get a return. I'm very honest as well. Um, no, I was on eBay cropping the image, but I don't have like a background eraser. I know the app has a background eraser. <clears throat> Sorry, and then maybe the new listing tool does. No, Teresa, they switched you without your permission. No, can you switch back? You can switch back, right? <laughs> oh man, oh man. I will, I will have a meltdown. It's gonna take me a good two days to get over it. You gotta be able to switch back. Okay, I'm gonna hand you. Oh, I yeah. did this. See, this is where you gotta make tickets and stuff. Can you do that in the light box? 
this shirt? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Okay, I did this. I gotta sew this. Okay, let me just hit this, this. But we don't have a bin, so it's gonna be a little bit difficult. I'm allergic to something on that. <laughs> on the moose? Yeah. So this and this guy. This guy. This guy. Okay, all right, all right. All of these need tickets. Okay, okay. So do the small ones first that can fit into the same bin we've been using. Yep. That's what I would do. Is that enough to get us going? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Oh. This little guy's bow tie. <laughs> Selling hour. <clears throat> I hope so. I couldn't find a way. The night's only posted one thing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I have found one on the computer. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll look into it. Do you want me to show you how to go back to the listing tool? Teresa, <clears throat> show you. I mean, I'm not sure if you can, but I can show you how I do it when I venture to the dark side and I want to come back. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Sewing this little bear's bow tie back on. I'm sewing something. Yeah, what's that all about? I'm always sewing. And it's like not my favorite thing to do. Are you back in comment land? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we don't pay for a store though, so it might be different. Okay, hold on. Oh, let me just eat the dust. So what I do is I go to <clears throat> So if I'm listing something. Create listing. Blah blah blah. Get started. Continue. So this is the thing. I go up to the right here, up at the top, where it says try the new listing tool. So I click that, and then I go into the dark lands. <laughs> Bad lands. Okay. So now I'm in hell, and I don't know what to do. Like, oh, I can't do it. I hate it. So then I go to these, like, three dots. <coughs> put that anywhere. I go to the three dots, and I go switch to classic view, and then I go switch listing tool. And then it asks for my feedback, but I don't give them because I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hopefully that helps you. I was on the dark side. I do not like it. I don't like the way it looks. <clears throat> no dots for... Oh, no. She doesn't have dots. She's on the real dark side. Oh, oh no. Man. I got to start to do this. I'm going to start next week. It's going to be new listing tool time. No dots. Oh. Y'all have been telling me, but maybe I'll end up liking it better. I don't know. I don't I don't hate you because you love it. You're giving me more reason to try it out. Sometimes you just got to try it out. I love these little sewing repairs. I don't like to sew like clothing. But I love a good sewing repair because I feel like I'm on the that show. Mm-hmm. 
the British show where they fix things. I love it. The repair shop. Love that show. Now, if I were listening by myself all day, I would watch that show. Okay. It's so calming and like, you know, it makes you feel like you're saving things. <laughs> it makes your work feel worthwhile. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I didn't even have to sew him. Annoying. <clears throat> Tighten him up. Can I send you pictures? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are we doing? Just asking. What is this? What are you talking about? Hold on, I gotta get out of this listing thing. Hold on. I'm just doing one at a time, I guess. Oh. Didn't expect that. Sorry. Alright, how about you get to get for this guy while we're waiting? Oh, he's got a string coming out of his neck and everything. Oh, no. <laughs> Now eBay's locked up. How much was he? 95 cent? Yeah. I can't get out. I'm stuck on the dark side. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Y'all need to just stop it. Stop it. Okay. okay, what am I doing? Pottery Barn Kids, Llama. Okay. these straps. Pottery Barn Kids does not sell well for us. If I had known you were buying these, I would have been like, don't do that. Don't do that. Sorry, sorry. You get lured in, you see. Yep. Oh, that was the one I had done. Dang it. Hold on. I've got all these. I got some. I need to do some housekeeping. It looks like I didn't make a draft for that. Good lord. I don't know how I get all these drafts. Like, I really don't make them. As soon as you click sell similar or whatever, boom. I know, I know, but I think... Anyway. Even if you don't save it, if you, like, go back or whatever. No, but I'll have, like, 14 drafts of the same thing. You have 14 drafts of a CD player in here, so I don't have any room to shop. You do. I believe you. <laughs> Sony CDP C4545. Weird. CD Compact Disc Changer. There are one, two, three, four, five of those drafts. Interesting. From oh, April 6th. No idea. From April 6th. Did you relist it? Or did someone not pay for it? I don't think so. I, I vividly remember someone not paying for it. What is this called? Battery <laughs> Barn Kids Llama. I guess I didn't save a drop of this, I'm sorry. I'm making it run out. Okay. There she is. These things are not selling. These people got them up at $38. Get out of here. I'm still going to copy their listing. I'll put it at $20. What is it going to be? W. W. I need to put a label on that bin. Can we fit any in this guy? I don't think so. See, the big ones, they need to go in the garage. We got room in some of these, some of the hammocks. Oh, yeah, we can hammock them. Easter llama. I always pick an occasion. <laughs> <laughs> Who's never heard of an Easter llama? Come on. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready for pictures. This is fun for my bacon, too. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. You know? Probably from the same person, huh? Really? Yep. <laughs> Why are you pointing your phone at me? Something that came. Like the remote control. <laughs> Shh. 
shipping calculator, but I found it on his own site and I use it there. Side feedback, but I didn't like the dark side and it was switched back. Yes. I mind the new listing tool. And then Elena, Joy says she doesn't mind it. Elena says she doesn't think it's so bad either. All right, y'all, I'm going to try it. So you don't have to drill down. I keep asking the same question over and over again. I feel like I had to drill down and I didn't like it. It's changed since I've really tried it, which was like months and months and months ago. This is a little llama. And so cute. What's next? Oh, this guy, big taken bow tie guy. What? Why does it say there's a safety? Oh no, is this recalled? I'm going to say that as a draft. Oh my god, could it possibly be recalled? What? Probably one. I have no idea. Ah, <sighs> Nineteen eighty six there with red bow tie. I guess I didn't make draft tags and I thought I did. Oh, this guy's killing it for everybody with his six forty nine. Oh, get out of here, guy. Killing us. <clears throat> Where is that going? Peggy. In the bear? I didn't even look at the pan. Like, do I need to take a thing to him? Yeah, probably. Ah, oh, that thing is so creepy. Yep. This guy. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't cleaned Marks all over the face. So I'll get this guy, this guy, this guy. Squishmallow guy. Oh. Can that bear go first class, do you think? This one? Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> oh, I need that. No, fifteen point eight by himself. No, unfortunately. I'm ready for bear pictures. Okay, one second. The Austin Bin stuff. How cheap was all with that squishmallow? Like Forty-nine cents. 49. Okay. It's about whatever it normally is. Yeah. I love my phone. Do you have my phone? Oh, go boop it. Yeah, boop it. Literally right in front of my face. <laughs> <laughs> Bear pictures incoming. Okay. Thank you.
What's next? Pale shark squishmallow. I know. Um, like where you have to like hit the drill down, meaning that you have to hit the button to lower the thing, scroll through the options, choose the option you want. I know that this, I know, um, I can't explain it. Right. I'd have to go back in there and show you what I mean. Where is this going? W. Are you making the ticket? So quick to list this stuff. I can't. I need to go to Vendu and figure out. I'm gonna do that right now. We're done. You didn't import last night. How many do you think we've done so far? Seventeen. Eighteen. Oh. It's pretty good though, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Specifics feel way more regimented or guided than they used to be. They used to be more open. You could pick and choose ones you really want. Yes, yes, that's what I mean. Elena, that's exactly what I mean. I felt like so, like, <gasps> I felt very uh, claustrophobic. I don't know how to explain it any other way. <clears throat> No, it lets you reuse stock photos if it's like in the eBay catalog. You can still do that on the old tool as well. They just have to be in the eBay catalog, which is few and far between. Like the DVDs we just posted, they were in the eBay catalog, so we used their stock photo. I don't know how you get to be in the eBay catalog. I don't know. What's the next one you're working on? Bobby Marjorie. It's going in W.
I really need to switch this. What's that? Just the order of the words. Caroline Pickers finish. Nice. Awesome. All right. Have fun. We'll see you uh, next tomorrow. Monday. Monday. Everybody, everybody enjoy your weekend. Yeah. Who's Whoever's leaving. We're not leaving yet. We're not done. Tell someone who's amazing, which is why I don't list from Ben Do directly. I need a self similar. Good night, Teresa. You guys have a good weekend too. We'll be here working. No sleep till Brooklyn. Hmm. Okay, I'm ready whenever you are. Is it, what is head toward the body toward that pink thing so you can the dip. Ah, no, 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 no. yeah. <laughs> Did you send them? No. Sending <clears throat> now. Okay. Look kind of yellow, doesn't he? It was, oh, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's not worth a lot. It's fine. Difficult. What are you doing now? Okay, All these CBK kids are getting flagged. Maybe that's why they're all. I'm going to need you to look into it. I'm just saving the misdrafts for right now. There's always fire trucks on Friday nights. I'm on the Panda either. What was I doing? 1986 again? Yep. Are you doing him sitting? Mm hmm. Is he 20 inches? What, hit the foot? Yeah. Um, Just like guesstimating? I mean, yeah. So he went with the other one. They're both called Honey Joe. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, they, 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 those kind of looks look the same. Yeah. Dakin Honey Joe Panda. <laughs> yeah, this is like their fuddle waddle. Look at these bear friends. Okay, they're both going to go and put these together. Um, 
I don't know if there's enough room in Peggy for both. I had the other ones, the panda's gonna have to go into whatever that is. I think that's Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Gretchen just finished her 11th for the day and is starting on drafts for tomorrow. Yeah. Come on. I love that you're like on a working vacation. I think that's a really smart idea. We can't leave because we have a senior cat. But that would be a fun thing to do. Yeah. So cute, they go together. Didn't even know it. There okay, here is case in point why we're moving these lives. You want to know case in point? Yeah. Our video that we played <laughs> and we posted eight minutes before the live is in third place. What? So there are people that literally just don't want to watch a live. So like they, why should we bombard them? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. With material that they don't want. Right. It's clear that they don't want it because it's on. <laughs> They're not watching it. I love it. I love things like that when it's like crystal clear. Okay. Get it. category in here. Bears. Eesh. I do not like being in this category, not even one little bit. I'd rather be in the Dakin category. That Bears category is a little iffy. They never quite got it right, I don't think. Yeah, this moose is looking sad. What about the thing? This shirt is choking me. I stand. Do you have different size stands? Can I look? <laughs> no, you don't, you don't. <laughs> just like this. Tear went down. Oh, I guess I could lift this other. Little bunny. I can't believe how much stuff we got listed today. Remember that big mountain? I do. Crazy. That mountain is gone. All right, all right. No mountain. Google Lens is going to think this is a real bunny. Yep. Every time. If it looks anywhere like similar to real, it's real. Let's see if anyone's calling. Good night, Carrie. Sorry, I'm so late on these good nights. <laughs> People are yeah, like, whatever, bye. Hey, Megan, I'm so late. I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't even care. Gretchen's getting left on. Yes. Same, same, same. This is Little Bunny Hoo 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 Hoo
I'm sorry if I just got that news. <laughs> I didn't think. Where are we putting this moose? Garage. Garage, okay. See, I can't find the exact thing of this, so I will never have listed it, but I'm making myself list it right now. Can you measure this one? Is it nine inches? Yeah. Definitely older than the one I'm copying, but oh well, it'll be listed. When you're ready for the moose. Is this called sitting for a bunny? <laughs> Is it sitting? Laying? Um, sorry, I'm making this other jar real quick. That's okay. Hi, Tones. My mom's here. Chrissy oh, just screened her. So Sorry. Tony. I was working. I didn't see it. Uh oh. Lurker. Mom, look, this is you. <laughs> My mom loves little bunnies. Yeah. This is vintage Walmart, meaning I probably owned it, huh? <laughs> Gotta get these clothes listed. Heading out on another tax advantage trip next week. And like everything let's do before I leave so I can source guilt free. Oh, it's such a good never had that happen. <laughs> we just went and bought all this stuff even though our house is full. Full. But you know what? We listed it. So that's good. We listed it. Doing stuff. Um, it's late for you. Why are you up so late? What are right? you doing? What's happening? Come on. What are you doing up so late? <laughs> She's not there anymore. So I can enter a comment in time. Where I'm like, oh, these people. Okay, what are we doing? Uh, the moose. The moose. Okay, the moose. The moose. The moose. My mom also likes moose. Meese. Oh, I didn't make a traffic tank. Oh, come on. Okay, what is it called? I just got the comms. Yeah. Northern Exposure. Macy's. Macy's Moose Plush. Right Macy's here. Moose. Bollocks is his name. Bollocks. <laughs> Christy will not be listing the six sport coats. That might just be forever death file. Why? You can do it. Okay, so when it's like totally all of these are listed, uh, I normally copy a sold. There's a sold, 1210. Oof. But then at least I know what it's worth, right? Yeah. I don't want to hold on to this dang moose forever. <laughs> Shouldn't have bought this moose. Shouldn't have bought the moose. 
Sorry. See, they didn't put anything in their title about, uh, what's the place called? Macy's? Yeah. They didn't put that. Uh, what's the, where's that going? Garage? Yeah. Totally going to the garage. So it's Tigger. Here's my mom's right back. Mom! Nope. Gosh, what? <laughs> Do me like that. That thing is not small. No, it's yeah, not. Yeah, but it's, that's what eBay's making me say. I'm that's ridiculous. I'm, I'm not even doing that. How much does that one move sway? Probably a lot. Priority. So big. Okay, it's priority. Or more. One pound, six ounces. I'm going to probably put it in poly now, huh? Yeah. Alright, I'm ready for the moose. Moose incoming. He's coming right for us. What? So far. What's after the moose? The buddy. No, Tigger. Tigger. Oh, there's my mom. Hello. Hey. Chrissy said her photos are terrible. I get intimidated by all the well done listing and I just can't throw up a lousy listing for such a nice item. Do you need to watch my video on when you get overwhelmed? <laughs> Do you need to? Or a lighting tutorial? I have a I'm trying to help. Um, Mom, I was asking why you're up so late. It's late where you are. Oh, wait, it's only 11. It's not that late. It's pretty late. Yeah, it's a party. You partying Friday? Friday? Have a party. Or not, obviously. Obviously not partying. I'm listing a Tigger. <laughs> Friday night. That's what's happening here. <clears throat> Here's Tigger. How much shipping do I need to put on Tigger? Probably a lot. Yeah, but how much? 20 bucks. 20, okay. Where's he going? Garage? <clears throat> yep. Tag? What do you mean? Is he new attack? No. Or not? No. Too late. They party. I haven't partied in ten, five years either. We're at my parents' party. Wait, mom, do you leave tomorrow? You leave the ninth, right? Or Frank leaves the ninth. Who leaves the ninth? Do you leave the ninth? I thought you left the eleventh. I don't know. I don't know who's moving. Who, somebody's leaving on the ninth. All I know is I'm leaving on the seventeenth. Oh gosh, I can't remember. I'm leaving on the seventeenth.
right, which one's cuter? This one. That one's pretty cute. Mm -hmm. This one's pretty cute. Hey, Matt. Hey, Kristen. Hey. Okay, Tony leaves on Monday. Frank leaves on tomorrow? Excuse me while I plan my family trips. <laughs> what are we doing next? The bunny. <laughs> One more bunny. I play him in V. Can you go in V? Sure. Did you just make a tag? Yeah. With what? W. Okay, I'll put W. Okay. Can it fit? Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. I cannot believe how many things we listed today. This is insane. Ooh, this bag of gunny shirt smells. Like what? Like perfume. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. We're going to have to vodka spray it or put it in the freezer or something. Or Axe body spray or something. Oh, no. we got to wash it. We're going to have to wash it. Yep. Where do you want it? I want you to put it in the washing machine. <laughs> You're asking. Yeah, it's like one of those downy beads. Scents. I see these goes. Just detergent. Okay. Axe body spray. <laughs> now I think it's just those scent beads or whatever they're called. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so the key to the plush here when you just gotta find the cutest picture. <laughs> that one is man. The way Photo Room cut this out makes these things look. He's a little funky. Yeah. What happened to his leg? I don't, I don't know. No good. No, you can't. I can't post it. His okay. leg is messed up. Okay. Just left me hanging. Oh, you sent them all? Yeah. You might have to send him again. Hold on. Oh, no. no, I'm good. Okay. We're listing all the bunnies, and hopefully, people can buy them before Easter. Still get them in time, hopefully. That's where we're hoping. I would have never bought vintage Walmart if it wasn't for a rebel. She sells this stuff all the time. I wonder if she's like the only one selling it though, you know? Because mm -hmm. maybe everyone's like, oh, I don't know about that.
least it's all listed. Isn't that your feeling? Yeah. I'll fix those. <clears throat> Just some cleaning. Okay, what is, what's the next graph I should do? Um, the Patagonia base layer shirt. It does have a small pull on the rear. All right. I took a picture of it. Are you making a draft or a listing? Yeah. Okay. This is Capilene One. Yeah, right. Oh, you got all that info already. Fine. Lower back, lower end of the chart. Yes. Shoes and clothes and toys, media, plush. That's crazy. All sorts of stuff. Yeah. I love it. I love like list. You know, because it's too boring. Whoops. Are you doing okay with switching? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Amy's mom! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Oh, thank you, Andrew. That was a big haul. I was trying to get comps or everything, but we ran, obviously, we ran out of time. At least I got some of them. I'm ready. We gotta work this weekend on freeing up some space. Right? Because yeah, like, there's something. nowhere to put anything. There's nowhere to put anything. We're on the home stretch, 15 minutes. I'm listing everything, I'm not saving it. Okay. Should I save it? Yeah. Maybe I should save it now that I said that. Like in Jersey. All right. Roller. Yep. 
What's the number? 52-14. Is that what you're taking photos of right now? Yeah. What size is it? Um, medium? Okay. I guess medium men's, extra large women's? Hmm. I guess? I don't... I'm just going to list it as medium. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Extra large. Men's. Yeah. Okay. Come on. You can do it. Do you want me to put something else or you just want to get cleaned up? Let's just get cleaned up. I knew it. Yes. Dan will always <sighs> take, we're so different. Man. I'm like, let's push through. Let's get two more done. If he, if he has the easy way out, he will 100%. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Well, you better clean up then. This is a mess in here. What do you mean clean up? <laughs> you said let's just clean up. And then you said, what do you mean clean up? You got to put all the bins away and go get lids and put these in garage bags. All the inventory away. That's well, what we yeah, need. I'll take these out in a second. Yeah, I'll take those out. I wish we had those big bags in here. That'd be better. Yeah. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Oh, another thing in here. Yay. Yes. All right, let's put away the Alice and Olivia stuff. I think maybe it can put under here. 
maybe on the shelf. It's kind of, oh, that's not media. Hold on, let me switch our video here. Okay. Seinfeld, I can stick up there in the game shelf. Okay, let me just import it anyway. Okay. It's got 25 done, so that's nice. pretty great. Still, like, I'm still wondering how we're ever going to get to 30. I have to list up during the day. Yeah. There's no way to do it at night, right? I don't know, man. I think we got 26. Well, we actually got almost 30 because those Potter Barn kids were the clean list. Mm-hmm. But they're there. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with those. I'm going to have to call them up. I'm going to grab lids for these. these Good luck because there's stuff all in the lids. Oh, great. Why don't you? No, no, no. Take one with you. Because they don't live in here. Did you do this? I did not. Oh, man. Look at this one. Can you do this? These are both full. Yeah, I can. I gotta put a label on this guy. Oh, dang. No, you can just leave that one in here because you gotta figure these out. I guess I could change the label on them. Oh, man. Oh, man. oh the cabbage oh, patch. Oh, man. Head okay, first. Hold on. You're gonna die. Hold on. Let me get them. Thank you. Ate it. Okay. I can't stop buying the old cabbage patches, even though they're not worth money. I can't help it. She has one tooth. Look at this girl. She has one little tooth. Wait, where'd you guys go? And a side ponytail. Look at this. And then this. I had to. Oh my god. I had to. She has a shoelace on her. Okay, that doesn't go with her. This little girl, she has no clothes, poor thing. I gotta fix her face, she got all these scuffs. We just sub to the new channel. When's the big move? Monday! This is the last time we're gonna be on this channel. Someone tell my mom to subscribe. We're moving on Monday, and it's interesting because. What we were just saying is that we posted a video at the same time as the live started. And our video was like in third place, which we have a lot of videos. So to be in third place is doing really well, which is insane because the live is going on at the same time. So that proves that we need to be on a different channel because people are on our channel watching our content, but not watching the live. They don't want to watch lives. So it's, it's a good move. It's going to be better for us. We sure did, and that wasn't even all the plush. We realized we had a whole other bag outside. And I felt really good about like some of the comps that I put up there, but I felt really good about the fact that we didn't comp the stuff from the bins, and it was still pretty good stuff. So that made me feel like I'm getting better at knowing what's good and what's not potentially. Of course there's going to be some duds, but I felt really good about putting back things I knew probably wouldn't do well, etc. Because we didn't spend much time what oh my gosh christy that's too much money i'm gonna give you money back i'm gonna figure this out <laughs> i'm gonna refund you <laughs> last video on this channel celebration super chat she just gave us 20 dollars. oh my god i know christy. that's so nice thank you so nice yeah. nice parting gift right i was just telling them that this is our last live on this channel yeah and then on monday yeah because it's going to be a little while it's going to be a little while before we can get super chatted over there <laughs> how how long do you have to be you have to get monetized oh really yeah Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be a long it's while. It's going to be a long, <laughs> long while. Well, I extra appreciate it now. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, man. That is nuts. You have to be monetized. Yeah. We're never going to get monetized over there. Yeah. There's never going to be a thousand people on the planet that want to watch us work. Ever. You know, I think so. I can't even believe there's a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I seriously can't. A like, hundred people watch us work. This is nuts. Uh, it'll 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 get there. 
Okay, they said about can peg me. Oh, no, one of them's going to. Okay, I'll move so you can do that. I'm going to turn off my camera and we'll just leave yours on. Okay. Yeah, While we're cleaning. Okay. Doesn't it feel good to like have a, you know, pretty much clean office when you leave? Yeah. He's like, no. Right. He just wants to stop. Nope. Nope. How many times will we trip over this? Okay. Alright, give me the one for Bill. Bill. Which one goes Bill? This one? The panda, I think. Oh, Bill. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay. Yes. Do, do you want to try to fit these up there? Or you want to garage these? I mean, Bill can definitely fit one more. Like a, like, these are know, big. They're big. Yeah, I'll just take them outside. Okay. That's fine. So now, do these go in this bin? Whoa. Oh no, we need another box. Bruh. You had a little hoard over here. You didn't have a hoard going. Yeah, those are the ones we did yesterday. You got a hidden hoard. Yeah, I didn't make one. Where's make 12? Box. 12 is. Uh, over there because it's going on the Eileen Fisher crinkle tuning that got returned because I processed the return, but I didn't have the item back here yet. Oh, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. It's making me nervous. Oh, no, stop. It's making me nervous. Okay, what about all this stuff? You can't get there tomorrow. You can't work with that stuff. What? What? Bruh. <laughs> you don't know what's back there. <laughs> Alright, let's not put that in there. Let's maybe right here. Take it right here, because then we can't get in there. There we go. Perfect. I want, to, I want you to do the research on those red wing boots. Okay. How about how to get them redone? Yeah. Okay. See what the options are, and then we can do a video on it. Sweet. Yeah. I think that'll be good. I'm good with that. Okay, and then this is shoes I need to get put up, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Those, yeah. I'm but trying to put those, some. Those are oh shoes. no! In the 408 box. Yeah. Buddy. I just re I just relisted them, in the, but I put a new inventory number on it. Okay, so I think these shoes also are listed. So they need to go in the mix. What happened with these? I think they're listed. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen them come up. Remember, it had a, it got lot, uh, what do you call it, stopped, um, like timed out. So oh, I'm not yeah. sure if it actually came up. I did take pictures of everything. Okay, well, I'll we'll check. Have to check that out. It's a mess. It is, but that's job yeah. is always gonna be a mess. Friday night, ten thirty. We made it. Woo! <laughs> Woo! We will see you on the other channel yeah man you're blocking me oh, i got my own camera i got my own camera Bye. yeah boom we'll see you on the other channel on monday oh um so moms there's a link in the in the description of this video so below the video click the little down triangle mm -hmm. and then there will be like a thing where you click the link because we have a different channel where we're going to do the lives at night. Yes. I can also just have Dan send you the link. I can do that too. Did you see that weird cabbage patch though, moms? Where's the weird one? I'm so sure. I'll put it over here. What is this weird one? Oh, with the weird head. Look. So like before you used to buy the head and then you would hand make. It was like a little kit. Did you ever know this? So in like 1984, you could buy the heads and they look like this and they were really weird, but they're so cabbage patch and they had the hair on them and then the body came and you sewed it and you stuffed it. Hmm. I did not know that. I did not know that either. Well, alrighty then. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you on Monday. All right, everybody have a great weekend. Thank you for hanging out.
Jones, tech support will text you.